You know, I know, don't normally start in this hallway because, well, it's quite bright and normally I like to start these videos off with some plot, but we had our plot last time, so we're going to have to move on and go to Halloween, which is almost convenient considering what time of year it is. Hey there guys, my name is Nix and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. In the last time, we had a very short episode where I was expecting a boss fight that wasn't there, and then we watched... Axel Axel Larkson 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 <laughs> Yeah, we watched them have a conversation about fighting me and Larkson is going to be my next boss on in a castle oblivion anyway. Anyway, enough of that. This is Halloween Town. Cue up the Marilyn Manson. Ah, good. I've almost forgotten that we had these costumes. These costumes are great. Gosh, don't don't like the looks of this place. I bet it's crawling with ghosts. Ah, Fooey, there's nothing to worry about. You won't be spooked if you already know what's coming. Not even real ghosts can frighten us anymore. That's how desensitized I am. They'll take one look at us. They're the one running for running for the hills. You really think so? I've just noticed that Goofy's eyes are different. Like, he's got one red eye and then, like, one swirly one. Like, he's been hypnotized. Trust me! I mean, look! The water's fucking green! How unnatural is that? Welcome to Halloween Town! What? A ghost! Wow, that was the best shriek I've heard in it. Thank you, Jack. I'm flattered. If you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time here in Halloween Town. Sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington, and this is Halloween Town. People around here call me the Pumpkin King. So if you're looking for a ghoulishly good time, you've come to the right place. Well, we aren't! I need a drink before I do that one moment. Too bad, because at the moment we've got a bit of a problem in Halloween Town. What? What kind of problem? Well... Like this. Yeah! It's time to murder some bitches, guys. Hope you're ready. Jack, you're coming with us to murder some things. Okay. I'm completely okay with this. I'm gonna talk a bit like a ghost. But not actually a ghost. Oh god, it's the thriller zombie things! I said they do the lean like they were in Thriller. In the, in the first Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, ja I have Jack as a summon. Okay, so he just thunders. Could, could you not hit the Heartless and maybe hit the... Well, it's nice to see the flowers come back. Hey, Genie. Oh wow, we actually get different cards. Okay, just finished up with some Tranquil Darkness. Oh, I gained a level. I didn't even realize. Uh, I need more CP so I can put better Keyblade cards into my deck. Why'd you go and call the Heartless? I didn't call them. I just knew when they were going to show up. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. They actually go around attacking people instead of just scaring them. Why are they here? I was just going to ask Dr. Finkelstein the same question. I'm heading up to his laboratory right now. Follow me. Sarah, what should we do? <laughs> Gee, Donald, what happened to your voice at the end there? I don't know! I didn't actually take a drink, I just went and grabbed a bottle of water and didn't drink it. I'm the smartest. I guess we better go. I don't like this! <laughs> now Donald sounds like an alcoholic. I don't like this anymore! <laughs> don't ask what the fuck happened there, I have no idea. I, I think this is just water in this bottle, but you could be confusing me. What a 
life he's leading us right to the heartless! Bingo! You saw right through me! What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now let's get going. God, Jack walks very. Oh, Sora learns terror. Summon, summon, and Jack or Simba Mushu an item card. I really, I, I'm a, I'd like to read that again. Just, I think that's a like scare off enemies so they won't approach or something. Halloween Town! Because this is Halloween. This song's probably playing in the background, but I can't hear it very well. I think I hit the Heartless on the rebound of that swing. Oh sweet, got a black room to replace the one I used. Okay, there's this long-legged Mac Daddy. That's quite a reference. Oh, come on, could you not jump out of the way as I'm trying to freeze you? Green card, what is it? A lasting days. Just means I can hit Heartless more often. I'm pretty sure. Not what it, not what it actually tries. Okay, these are my barrel equivalent. Okay. Oh, they explode into fire. Good to know. I was expecting more. A white knight? What the hell do you do? In fact, I think that's the first basic Heartless card I've picked up. Alters gravity to boost jumping ability. Interesting. Boost the power of attack. I've not looked what half of these do. Mainly because I've not actually needed them. <laughs> Stops enemies breaking attack cards you use. Oh, that's, that's very good. Boosts attack when HP is low. And you always nullifies the enemy card. Interesting. However, I need to put some more Keyblade cards into my deck. Well, these both cost 10. That's actually really good. So, Dobo does end his water for a set period of time. I mean, Dumbo would be nice to have, I guess. That costs 30. That one costs 20, so yeah, that one's better. No need for time. I could put another gravity in and get Gravora. Gravora? It sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna lo load in some. But I want. Like, I feel like my deck as it stands is quite good. Like, not to. Like, make it sound like I know what I'm doing with this game, because I definitely don't. But I feel like it's not doing me any harm at the moment, so. Some of these might be good. Uh. Then again. I'll throw in an ether. Maybe I should use one of these. Okay, let me take that out and let me put in, let's say, 47, uh, 47, 77, 87, 97, 97. I can put in the Hades card if I want. Jafar's a bit too expensive right now. Yeah, we'll put Hades in. So when I attack, I have to press... I'm sorry, did that fountain just shoot me? Okay, I got stagnant space. I don't know whether that was from the heartless that like appeared. Okay, I managed to hit this one, actually. Bottomless darkness. And more levels. Um, well yeah, as I said, I keep wanting more of this. However, at the moment, I don't have any well, that was a lot of Heartless that appeared. Ooh, a level 8 Moogle room. 
That'd be quite nice to have for my collection. Give me some of that Moogle pee. You're, you're just, your job is just to be a dick and just shoot me, so. These things just explode when thrown. I see you there. Don't think you're getting away. I really like how, like, sometimes when you stop, then you deal damage to the enemies, and then they just don't take any damage for a while, and then when they unfreeze, they just take a crap ton of damage. Level 5 Gravity. That's nice. Level 1 card. I really want to see... Oh, it's pitch black and heartless... Oh, and many heartless appear. That's good to know. Um... Heartless move slowly. I have a lot of calm bounty cards. Lasting days, strong initiative. I mean, I really want to. You know what? I'll just use this as a opportunity to buy some Moogle cards. Because God knows I want some. I would quite like some Moogle cards that aren't complete crap, please. Once I gather all of these points. I'll probably be end I'll just probably end up dusting a lot of cards. Oh, hello. More stop. <laughs> please give please continue to give me more things while I smack these posts. Okay, free pack. Well, they gave me pumpkin head. Great attack, but hmm. Well, let me dust a bunch of trash cards. I say dust because I'm too used to playing Hearthstone. See, my thinking is I don't really want to be putting cards in my deck that are worse than five. So most of what well, I'm... Actually, I'll, I'll keep those around. Uh, Gravity is good. Stop, I might use it. Simba, Dumbo, Cloud, Simba. Oh, I can dust these. So can I get like these cards from all enemies and I've just not been getting them this whole time? Well, see if I can get any good combat cards. No, oh, I level seven, three wishes. I mean, that's pretty good. And a level six Olympia. Another level seven. Oh, I was kind of hoping that'd be good, but hey, but a cheaper. Ooh, got a pumpkin head. And the lady look. I got some not trash pumpkin head cards, so. Uh, I'd quite like some of those. You know what, I'll just take a mixed pack as well. Um, uh, that's a premium genie, actually. So that's, well, I don't know if it's premium genie, but, like, it's, it's, ch it's a cheaper genie than the one that can go in my deck. So, I got some sorting to do, so that's not what I wanted to do. So I'll just put some of these in my deck. Yeah, I think it's good as it stands. I probably should dust all of these cards. Uh, where am I going? Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm facing this wall, meaning I need to go this way. Two and up. Oh boy. I might regret doing this. <laughs> I know the idea is probably to use these to open doors in tandem with the boss key so you don't get the effect. Oh, the combat arena's pitch black as well. Good to know. Okay, I have no idea how I'm oriented. Yeah. 
So this is literally just a void room. If I can, if I feel, if I know that and there's like no jumping up and down to be done, then I feel like I can be okay with the state of the room. I'm also okay with being able to do that. <laughs> Please do thunder. It's not what I wanted. Okay, well, you did something there, Jack, which I guess I can be thankful for. I didn't even see you coming to my direction. Okay, this is not a good. I'm, I'm trying to like lure them in a circle, then I can do this. And hit all of them at once. <laughs> I like have no idea where the walls or anything are, so I'm just like running up and pressing my face against them. Oh good, more bottomless darkness, just what I wanted. Although this area is probably good for grinding heartless. Yeah. Apparently I can't swing to save my life. Tell me something I don't know. That's... a lot of heartless. Uh, I'd like to quite... quite like to use these. I don't know how many I keep hitting when I do that, but hopefully the answer is a fair amount. No, oh, I must have. <laughs> because they were all dead. Well, here's the plot. Oh, I need a three and a four. Well, oh, I... I mean, I... Sora, why did you swing at the door? Okay, for some reason that one was a lot easier. Well, I got a four. That's good. I needed a four. In fact, no, actually, I think I can get through. Provided I have to use one of my... Many of these cards, because I can just use... Pitch Black... And Key Beginnings here. I just realized I've got to walk back through this room. God damn it. Allow me to introduce Dr. Finkelstein. He's a world famous genius. Yes, maybe I'm too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. What's that? Well, have you ever stopped and to think about the power of true memories. True memories? You see, my boy, our hearts are full of memories. Not, they definitely aren't stored in our brain where we think about them. No, they're in our hearts. I'm sure of this. But not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They warp or fade, leaving us with but a shadow of what we hope to remember. Could that be happening to me? It happens to everyone. Some memories grow ugly and some become more beautiful. If we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. So I de devised, devised, I devised a potion from forget-me-nots to bring back our true memories. Did it work? Well, that's the problem. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. Sounds like a failed experiment to me! No, my research is flawless! I just need another look at the potion to find out what went wrong. Hmm... Unfortunately, it's vanished. Maybe someone swiped it? It must have been Sally. Jack, you go find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? What for? 
I want to know about these true memories that the doctor keeps talking about. Excellent, then let's go find Sally. As I power walk off into the distance. I've, I've always thought that's how Jack runs. In fact, he doesn't run because he's too tall. He just power walks. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, so I just need to... Uh, just need to um, keep going on along the side of the Moogle room. Gotcha! Oh, I have four Moogle P. Sorry, but you won't be getting much trade for a while. Why? Because, well, the packs I've opened have been shit so far. I use the lasting days. Well, the good news is they are definitely playing the This Is Halloween tune, so... Yeah, go oh, that's that's a guillotine. That, that, there are several guillotines. Now, excuse me while I smack this heartless. It seems to like giving me those black room cards recently, and I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> you know, it's great, you line them up and they all just die to Blizz... 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 Blizz Urga? Blizzaga. What? Yay! More voids! Just what I really want to go into. Okay, I'll take Blitz. Three attack cards of differing values. Fifteen. Ten to fifteen. When triangle flashes on screen to add an attack, press triangle. Okay. Oh, that that's what I see. That's why I need some of the cheaper ones to pull off Blitz and other uh, Well, you know what if I put I can't fit one of those in Well, I can no I can't blitz with the normal keyblade damn hmm well, Hades, you, had, you, you were there for a while, but now you're not. I need... So I'll put this in. 8, 16, that's too many. 7, 14. If I have... No. Oh, wait, yes. I, I can blitz with three wishes. Um, can I... Well, I can't blitz with that, but hell, it's it's an extra card in the deck. So, get into combat, and then I can try out this Three Wishes card. That Three Wishes? This Blitz. This Blitz! Try out the Blitz! Oh. Okay, that hurts. But I can still hit it for some reason. Doesn't seem to do it. Hitting it doesn't seem to do anything. I was gonna say, Sora, can you actually hit the thing instead of locking onto about three different things around the room? Right, so. For some reason that triggered sliding dash. Why does that not trigger blitz to activate? I legit want to know because I'm confused. That's what it told me to do, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, lasting days. You know, I was kind of concerned because that slight only had a max attack value of 7. <laughs> I was like, am I going to get this off or is it actually going to be broken? It was fine. Level 3 surprise, bitches! Jack is so thingy, he doesn't even care! He's already killed you all. Ooh, hold the wall. Doesn't, literally does nothing. Okay. I keep hitting these just in case they have things, which is something I've not been doing, which I should be doing. I'm also trying to scour this for Heartless. It's really weird, I can't lock onto them in the field. 
Some good old tranquil darkness. It's just me that feels does it feel like they're ramping up the number of heartless encounters. Then again, I'm in a big room. It could be that. Look at this one had next to nothing in it. What gives? Because I got a sweet close-up of Sora in his goth makeup. Oh, I didn't even realize the things had things in them. I got a pumpkin head! Good old calm bounty it was... Oh no, because it was that treasure? It wasn't. Sora, please don't lock onto the pumpkin. I know there was a thing here. It literally just despawned. I'm close to another level up. Although this is what the plot is, I think. Yeah, I need red cards of 20 or more. You can have this. I really don't want to... You can have that, and then you only need four. I'm not hurting if I use this feeble... If I... Oh, no, wait, this isn't the... No, I... That was just a thought, but it was a wrong thought. I thought that's where I needed to be. Okay, so I have to go up, round, and to the right. Well, I just wasted some cards and everyone's time coming here. Although, maybe not the time, because we do need to come through here at some point, probably. I don't care for you, Heartless. In fact, I don't care that much. I jumped around... I defied all the odds and jumped around you. Ah, Sora, please, what, please understand how ladders work. Um, yeah, I need to go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna have this music stuck in the head for, for the rest of the night, probably, aren't I? Because that's what happens last time I got to Halloween Town. Yeah, so I basically need to cross the way here. Avoiding all the Heartless. I see you trying to spawn out of the ground. Three or more. Easy requirement. Okay, what's in... Oh yeah, this was just a Tranquil, so this is just normal Heartless. Nope, standard Heartless things. Wreck em, goof. Lovely combo. Oh, and a level. And a zero moment to reprieve. Let's get us some of them CP. And I can bang a load of normal cards in my deck, I think. Okay, so this 4-3-4 combo should work that I put in with Pumpkinhead. But I will see if it does or not. Uh, I've gone the wrong damn way. No, that's just sliding dash. Why does this not work? As I just escaped being hit there. Uh, status. Fire. Uh, yeah, I, I get all of these. Simba moves from the Knight of Card or summon someone in Jack. Strike fear into the enemy so they no longer approach. Proud Raw, Showtime, Cross Slash, Omni Slash. Oh, three, uh, multiple clouds. I don't have multiple clouds, so that kind of sucks. Wild Crush. Goofy don't, so Goofy don't add an attack. And then just Plutos, Sandstorm, Surprise, High Jump. Blitz, here we go. Ah, three differing cards, right. So if that's the case, 
I'm gonna get hit by this Heartless. So if I change you out and put in, say, a cheap one of these, and then we try and do Blitz here. So I do four, four, six. Yeah, okay, that was that was pretty good. Seven to eleven. And I don't think I oh wait, I can! Excellent! It's about to be like, I can't finish this combo! Yes I can. Gotta love zero cards. No oh, good, more bottomless darkness. Just what I need. The abyss! I'm going to spawn one of these in. Just because it's nice to have a safe room! And I believe having it just before we do plot is a good idea. Because that's where I'm going to cut this episode. I honestly got have no idea how long this episode is. I've been recording for an hour now, and that includes the last episode that I did, which was about 20 minutes. So this is about 40 minutes of footage, but there's a lot of cutting battles in and out. Anyway, you don't come here to listen to me talk about technical crap like that. You come here to be you come here to watch me be bad at games. And maybe see me react to how the plot plays out, of which I have no idea what it's doing at the moment. <sighs> I wonder if they know what they're doing. Anyway, thank you all for watching this part. If you like the video in any capacity, give the video a like down below, leave a comment on what I'm doing right and or wrong. And subscribe if you want future updates on the series. Or if you don't want to subscribe, follow the channel Twitter instead because it's probably a more reliable source. Anyway, I've been Nix and I will see you guys next time. Laters!